What's up YouTube? Big Dog here, back with another Forza Motorsport video. We're doing a new series where we uh, build cars for the lobby hoppers. Today we're doing the 8-cylinder A-Class lobbies. Built this Fry 288 GTO. Went for a handling build as you can see here. And uh, we're using the stock engine and powertrain sitting at about 400 horsepower. Today's race is at Laguna Seca. We're starting in the last place and we're going to muscle up 15 positions. So let's see how it unfolds. All right, here we are at Laguna Seca. Right trigger to the floor. Ready to start off. Turn 10. What the fuck is that? All right, off to a solid start. The Ford GT does not have any pace whatsoever. Give him a nice little tap. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. Coming into turn one, I'm gonna go on the outside because honestly, I'm fucking scared, all right? Barely, barely don't tap the Corvette in front of me. Um, as you'll see coming up here, we uh, enter the Dust Bowl. There's a lot of goddamn dust everywhere. What the fuck? This is a rally game at this point. Slam into the back of the Corvette, slap the Mustang, but we're coming around and we've gone up a couple positions. Holding it steady right here, um, just kind of back in another dust bowl, looking ahead of me and I can't see shit. So coming down this turn, um, I'm holding steady, just kind of plotting who to attack next, okay? There's a lot of shit going on and I don't want most of uh, any part of it. Um, a lot of shit going on in front of us, just to be expected on Forza Motorsport. Now, we're going to pause it right here because what you're going to see unfold in front of me is nothing short of typical Forza Motorsport behavior. Fucking nice. Nice. Three positions. Going to fight with this SLS. I ended up just tapping him left and right. Guy comes behind me, little tap, and then this is spree is gonna fuck my whole corkscrew up. Wait for this penalty. Here it comes, fuck my life. Are you kidding me? I'm still in it to win it. I don't give a flying fuck. Gonna try to cross up this Mercedes AMG, getting tapped again by the Corvette behind me. Um, coming into the last turn here, we're gonna get up right behind Beanie McBeanface. What a fucking champion, y'all. Heading into lap two. Up several positions, but got a two-second penalty. Next thing in my mind is how the fuck are we gonna turn turn one into a W? Well, we're not. We're actually gonna go on the inside here. Don't get enough rotation. Corvette taps me. So I'm coming back around here and I'm thinking, how are we gonna recover? Okay. Well, um, Headed onto the Michelin tire here, and Dr. Phil in the yellow Corvette is going to strike again. Goodbye to the Daytona Coupe, oof. Um, we're gonna keep going. Now, I'm on the defensive. However, after this turn, I get a little ballsy, and I'm like, fuck it, let me just rush up the inside and try to dive on the next corner. Um, now, the Audi to my right, the ambulance, this guy, this guy's got needs, and they're very special, okay? Watch what unfolds on the corkscrew here. I'm thinking, I'm ahead. I fucking got this. Let's hold it together here. Lost five goddamn positions. Actually, four. Quick math. Um, but... Fortunately, the gentleman in the E92 and uh, correspondingly the other Corvette um, don't quite have what it takes. So we're back up to seventh place. Once again on the last corner behind Beanie McBeanface. It's like we just went back in fucking time. However, when it comes to Mr. Big 3896, the battle has not been won and it is not over. I'm behind this fucking piece of shit, this absolute menace to society itself and I'm like fuck it turn one I'm leaving you I have to go I don't want to be anywhere near that monstrosity of a fucking vehicle okay my sights are on Beanie McBeanface okay Mr. Big 3896 humbly I fucking hate you I'm gonna keep going though because even though the first place dream is gone Still here to get some fucking positions, okay? And Beanie McBeanface is my next target, okay? I'm tired of looking at him. I'm tired of reading his name. 
I'm fucking over it, okay? And look at there. Bean and McBeanface and the fucking kitty litter. I am so locked in to this goddamn Mustang in front of me. I don't even remember that I have to shit and I fucking shart on that corkscrew. Yes, shit in my pants. Took a penalty, but hey, fuck it. We ball, okay? All right, we are, we are, um, we are, we are once again, for the third time in a row, entering the last corner, staring at the bumper of Beanie McBeanface. Doesn't matter, gentlemen, because guess what? It's lap four. All right, guys, time for a Firestone tire check. Just kidding, I'm not sponsored by anyone. Um, headed into turn one, gonna try to make something of it here. Um, gaining some, some distance on Beanie McBeanface, but it's not enough. However, we're headed towards the Michelin tire again with our hopes high. Beanie McBeanface just needs to head off in the dust once again. At this point, I'm not really worried because, honestly, he's got a five second penalty. I gotta fuck up pretty bad to not at least take fifth, okay? And um, and that was the mistake that I needed to, to keep up with Beanie McBeanface, okay? Cut this corner just right, and we are absolutely sending it up the hill towards the corkscrew. I am at my fucking limit at this point. Speaking of limits, track limits, I cut them. But guess what? Penalty system said, you're good. So, keep charging ahead. And would you look at that? For the fourth lap in a row, on the last turn, guess where we're at? That's right, looking at those goddamn S550 taillights. Nothing you hate more than looking at the back of an S550. S550 guys, we get it. You go fast in a straight line. But look, I'm still plotting. I'm still here, okay? We started in last fucking place, all right? I'm kind of happy to see these S550 taillights because you know what I could be looking at? I could be looking at the at that fucking monstrosity of a Ford Focus from the beginning of the race. But nope. We're eating grapes. Here in sixth place behind Beanie McBeanface, the one, the only. Now, coming up to the corkscrew here, I'm, I'm going to try to fucking send it, okay? I'm going to try to make my move and at least get closer to the podium. However, coming up to this curb right here, the car has a little tizzy and it fucks up my entire mojo. I'm, yep, yep, fucking up left and right. Gain a little bit of distance on the boys in front of me going through these two corners, but it's just not enough. So, gentlemen, for the fifth lap in a row, give it up for Beanie McBeanface finishing in a sixth place because guess what that penalty kind of fucked bro so i'm gonna take fifth place up from last 808 8 y'all have a great day